Okay, um, so the two, two hours are up. I'm just going to look at my um, where I have my Gorilla Glue. It looks uh, set. Let's open her up and see what we got. Hopefully not <coughs> not having the water, the water, you know, not um, lightly brushing up water on the other part hasn't made any, hasn't caused any problems. I, I shouldn't think it has really. If anything, it wouldn't have foamed up as much. Um, but let's have a look. Only one way to find out. <coughs> oh, no, that looks good. Right, so we can see down there nicely. Let's uh, zoom in a bit. You can see the Gorilla Glue is uh, spread out nicely. Nice to try and um, sand some of that off. Um, get the weight down a bit. Right, okay, so we're all square. We are good to go. Let's get these pins out. Now for the moment of truth. Oh, there we go. Oh, beauty. That's uh, come away really easily. There we have it. My wing joint. Um, so some really thin flashing. Um, that's really good. Oh, that's, that's worked out beautifully, that has. Even where the. Um, the scrub line was the, you know, sort of bending along that scrub line that we had put in there. Okay, so that is really, really good. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tidy up the flashing quickly. So the um, best way to do that is just uh, a sharp knife, exacto blade or whatever you use. Just going to rough it out gently. Parts come together really nice. And even the server hatch, you know, it's bonded really nice. I might, like I say, try and get rid of this and this glue. Oh, it's not really. I don't think it's going to make a huge uh, amount of difference. Um, I suppose it all adds up from a weight uh, perspective. So, let's just gently take this flashing off. Yeah, this flashing doesn't feel as brittle as the. Um, the version of my previous go with the Gorilla Glue where I actually put some water in there so maybe it isn't quite uh, it's a little bit stretchy at the moment so maybe it doesn't quite um, cure it fully maybe it needs a little bit longer um, as you can see it's looking pretty dandy so we have a right wing, right hand wing oh yeah we sure have. I mean, the tip looks beautiful. Where the, the two pieces of the um, cast parts come together. Oh, it looks really, really. It's awesome. Really awesome. Much better than I'd uh, ever hoped for, really. Um, if I'm totally honest. <laughs> Flashing while it's a little bit um, gooey, a little bit soft rather. Um, get this in. So I'll put that in a more. Just to trim this, uh, trim this part of the. Uh, that's quite handy. Yeah. <laughs> Got my lines there, I can pull my hands on them. I'm not about to, to cut. Did 
down. <laughs> Don't look at me. Just in the pumps. The trim's really nice actually. Okay. Right, the rest we can sand up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna I'll put you in time lapse so I can sand this up. You can all watch me sanding. Um, and then we can have a chat at the end. Cool. Okay, so we've got a, a right wing now from the Hunter, for the Hunter. Um, yeah, it's come up, you know, better than I could have ever hoped for. It's absolutely come up so beautiful. Um, very crisp. Um, the actual working with the plastic is actually, it's quite hard plastic actually. Um, the skin, so when you, you know, I was using a file on it in, in areas to go into the tight corners. Um, <coughs> No problem, so it should, should finish nicely. Um, so I've just I've just roughed off the um, flashing. I haven't gone too crazy with it uh, because I want to get the arrow line um, in there and just make sure everything matches up. And then I'll finish it and perhaps hinge the arrow line. Um, but um, as you can see, it's it's come up beautifully. It's uh, excellent. Let's see what the weight is. So before gluing, the weight was 23. 0.4 grams. Let's have a look what we've got now. Huh. 23.66. <laughs> this cord 23.7. That's with the glue and it dressed up. So the glue's added absolutely nothing to it. So um, Gorilla Glue is the one we're going to use, I think, um, for future joints. You can see I've got a little bit too much glue, you know, it's perhaps a little bit too much in there. Um, oops. Yeah, it's, a, it's belting out a little bit, but nothing, you know, removing that, it's not going to really bring much to the party. Um, Nah, brilliant. So strong. <laughs> There's hardly any flex in that. I mean, any of you bigger blokes, um, blokes building bigger things like a, like a rudder and a vertical stabiliser, just the job. You know, it's, it's just no flex in that. It's very, very strong. Very strong. It's, it's like solid. Feels solid. So yeah, so the only thing I'm worrying a little bit about is the weight, because I was hoping to get those at about um, 20 grams each. So um, perhaps you more experienced blacks could um, comment um, on different groups or the, the videos. Um, obviously you can see the size of the wing um, and the thickness uh, of the section. Um, you know, I, th I think it's okay. I don't think it's going to be too bad. It's not. I mean, it's like so. We get gaining what six grams with the other wing. Uh, for the wings, um, there you go. The left and right. Don't you look like a hunter? Yeah, you've got left and right wing, baby. Oh yes. Feels light enough. We'll see. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do now, we've almost, uh, almost finished the series, I think, um, for casting. The, only, the last thing I want to do is just prime these up so we can have a look, look at the surface finish. And we're only going to really see that um, once it's primed. Uh, I've got some light dry primer coming um, in the next couple of days. So I'll probably um, prime it up. Um, I might put the aerolons on as well just to finish, uh, hinge the aerolons. And then um, we can have a one last chat. Okay, thanks for watching.